Your mercy is full of love, O God, for you have received in the midst of your temple. You have praise, O God, like two men, reaches the ends of the earth, and your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you you all. And Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Oh, we have sinned sinned sinned. Sinned. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband, and never again my ball. I will espouse you to me forever. I will repose, I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. God. I rest on Cyril's own. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord, the Lord is, is gracious, gracious and merciful. merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, his greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyful singing of your justice. The Lord, Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players in the crowd who was making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout the land. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. A few weeks ago, while in our men's prayer group, the men of St. Joseph, we came across St. Luke's description of this same story. For Matthew, Mark, and Luke all record this story of Jairus' daughter being brought back to life and the woman who was suffering of the hemorrhages. <clears throat> and one of the men in the group pointed out something that, although reading it for years, I read right past it and never stopped to realize. The girl was 12 years old. The woman suffered for 12 years. 12 years. And he asked, is there a correlation for that? And I've been thinking about that ever since, wondering and trying to find out an answer to that because that was a phenomenal question. Now, I forget the gentleman who asked, but there is a correlation between the 12 years. The woman suffering, the little girl, age 12, dead. And what is that? It's because the correlation is Jesus and his mission of salvation. For in essence, both the woman and the girl were dead. Technically, the girl is dead. She is not breathing. And please, I know some might say, well, she was only asleep because Jesus says she was asleep. Um... No, she's dead, okay? I, I don't think humanity is that ignorant. They can't tell a person is dead from a person who's asleep. Jesus speaks of her being asleep. For death is different for Jesus. Whereas the woman who had been suffering for hemorrhages, she, in a judeo-religious sense according to the law of Moses she is dead not physically but in a sense as death is a separation she is separated from the worshiping community she's unclean both experience some form of separation and both are brought back into the community the woman is now able to worship at the temple and she's able to give praise to God with others as the little girl is brought back into her family and they're able to praise God for this moment whether and I guess this is the lesson that I considered this morning and reflecting further on it I thought now whether it is uh, spiritual death or the physical death were never separated from God. God came because he loves us. He loves us even before we were conceived in the womb of our mothers. The moment he thought of us, he loved us, and that's why we came into being, because of his love. God does not want any of us to be separated from him. We can choose, however, separation. We can choose to sin, commit a moral sin, and choose to separate ourselves from the love and mercy of God. But death, illness, these can't separate us from the love of God as we hear so often proclaimed. So let us approach the real illness that can separate us sin. Let us turn to God, the one physician who can heal us of that sin through his mercy. Let us seek him by going to his ambassadors, 
his representatives on earth, his priest. Let us seek the healing balm of forgiveness through the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us be brought back into the worshiping community and be alive again. What can separate us from the love of God? Not death, not sickness, only sin. So let us humble ourselves and allow him to heal us of that sin. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Bishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for prayer. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes and that we always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. Offering our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now that the hour of our death, amen. <coughs> Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our and the Holy Church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May we therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save, Save us, us Lord, the Lord, 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 Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. The remain with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our Lord, and the glory of yours, and Lord Jesus, Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am my Lord, and the patience of my heart, and my root. I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy Michael, you are an angel. Defend us in hell. Be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him when he will be pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. Out of the common power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, sink in the ground of hope. Amen. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy disciple of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the prayer of each. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most spouse. Blessed be God, his angels, and his angels.